we are back, and I've talked about this on a lot of my monologues about things going on downtown. There's so much going on, it is incredible, and it's like a revitalization. It's, it's bringing things back to life, and because I'm here downtown, I get to see a lot of the action going on. Sure. But large and in charge is Miss Susan Alexander, and she's here to kind of break it down for us about all the new and exciting things going on. So yeah, Absolutely. Well, I, I, today I really want to talk about our first Friday. Yes. It's kind of our uh, a, a secret uh, event that we've just started. Um, first Friday is going to be an open house throughout all of downtown. Mm -hmm. Every business or organization can host an open house. They invite an artist, some kind of arts related mm -hmm. uh, event or activity. And, and really, they're typically very engaging activities. And from six to nine on those first Fridays, all year round, you can walk all through the streets of downtown Absolutely. and see it, people and be seen that you haven't seen in a while. And, and honestly, <clears throat> nationwide, there is kind of a surge for that outdoor atmosphere, that outdoor shopping experience again. They're bringing that back. A absolutely. Uh, you know, all the malls are changing to you don't walk inside, you walk outside. Sure. Um, it's an authentic experience. And I think people really want to uh, regain that sense of community mm -hmm. Uh, that we haven't had and of course downtown is the perfect place to gather as a community so uh, we're excited about it and I've got to tell you how this actually started because you're right like first Fridays this event is not a um, brand new right. event out there it's all over the nation but uh, we got a call from the mayor uh, about a year ago and said hey you got to check out downtown Indies mm -hmm. first Friday and we said yeah that's a great idea so we took a big group of people down to Indy we checked out several locations uh, and what they did some art centers and it was just wall-to-wall -wall families and art mm -hmm. I mean it was fabulous no streets were closed off I mean people just did sure. what they had to do to get there and enjoy each other so uh, we said well we can do that Kokomo can do that. Absolutely, we can. <clears throat> so we started talking it up, uh, and actually last year the Bohemian Tattoo uh, Club and Art Gallery actually started an, a, a monthly event, and they said, hey, whenever you all come on with the first Friday, we'll just join. Sure. Uh, same with the Art Association. They have been, really, they have been a driver of actually starting it and getting it online this year early. Sure. Um, so uh, it was the Arts, um, Artworks Gallery and Main Street Cafe, Sandra Young over there. They were the pioneers. Who? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> and they um, just said, they barreled ahead, we're going to do this. So we have, we've had several this year and it's been fairly cold and a new event. Sure. You wonder if it's going to work or if anybody's going to know about it. Um, and in fact, we've had great attendance. Mm -hmm. um, and the neat thing about this event, it's not, um, no one is telling them what to do. Each, each sure. venue is going to be having changing attractions, changing engaging activities. And so it's a dynamic thing. As a community member, you don't know what you're going to get mm -hmm. when you come down and it's just a, an adventure and Absolutely. you discover something new every time. So uh, it's, been, it's been fabulous. And there's all kinds of new attractions and new businesses that, that are coming downtown. And even ones like Plan Mind, I, I will throw myself under the bus. They have this scooter down there for kids okay. that is pedalless, and you yeah. don't even have to use your feet. You just kind of twist, and it moves. Right. And I never knew they had that until I went to the first Friday event, and I think it was her son or, or somebody that she knew was just kind of moving around. And I was absolutely floored by, sure. by the innovation that they have right sure. there. Sure, sure. And Angie Myers. I mean, there's so many things oh, going on. Lux. Fabulous. Well, and, and I think that's the, you're bringing up a key element to the first Fridays. The creativity the, the, of our entrepreneurs mm -hmm. downtown is fabulous. Yes. It's limitless. Um, for example, you mentioned Planet Mind. Uh, last month they did a tournament, a board game tournament. Mm -hmm. They had a, an entire shop full of people for this tournament. And, um, and so again, it's family oriented. Sure. Uh, right next door, Pepper Whistle had a um, karaoke and laser light dance yep. area which was fabulous and so you saw parents and children sure. and everybody just having a great time they were also giving away samples and so forth but so. then even beyond the nine o'clock there's business owners that are meeting at some of the other businesses downtown 
for dinner afterwards uh, absolutely. Or, or drinks afterwards or just to say this worked for me or this didn't work for me. So there's there's that right. sense of community right. that they're trying to put back, that they're trying to bring back right. right here downtown. Right. Well, and they are, I mean, amongst the business owners, absolutely, because they are doing a lot of cross-promoting. Mm -hmm. um, they said, hey, if we're going to do an event, we need to do it with somebody. Right. So I know um, Comics Cubed, mm -hmm. Sean Hilton, he invites, um, uh, he calls it Geek Night. Sure. And so he'll go to one of our local restaurants and have a Geek Night, which is fabulous. So he's not only entertaining his clients, right. he's enjoying the whole atmosphere of downtown. And, and Sean truly is a great guy because he's he's making that geek main street. Main sure. stream. Sure. <laughs> Did you like my fun <laughs> there? But, Absolutely. But he's bringing that to, to everyone as a geek. Right. From movies to games. Everybody everybody is touched by that sure. culture and right. he really does a great job of, of bringing people that you wouldn't think but he brings them together. Right. And that's what a lot of businesses are doing downtown. You know, uh, the popcorn, Sweet Poppins, mm -hmm. she's doing a great partnership, and I'll just use Bonavista right now because of their disability awareness. Sure. You know, they're partnering together as two businesses, two powerhouses coming together to help benefit the community even more. Sure. And that's what it's all about, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You can, I mean, there's so many examples of yes. that um, throughout uh, the downtown. It's just amazing. And the city is doing a great job. I'm going to kind of throw it to them as well yep. because flowers, trails, businesses, Kokomo Art Association doing some of the artwork that you yep. go along. So, I mean, right. it's a pretty exciting time to right. be here in Kokomo. Absolutely. I think a lot of these things are really coming together. Um, I say this often. Our mayor has done more for downtown revitalization than the last uh, since his mm -hmm. uh, tenure uh, as mayor than in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, the, getting back to the two-way street that's traffic calming. Sure. Um, it's more uh, people-oriented. Our light poles are... Um, it, it all encourages the sidewalk gardens, the, the sidewalks, where it, the narrower streets, really, I know some of us drivers, uh, not me, but others have you know gone over the curb sure. and all of that. Um, but that's that's keeping the walkers comfortable, sure. You know, and and makes it easy to go around because when you're walking, you can see everything. Um, so the city has just been phenomenal right. and, and really creating that base for the businesses, for downtown to really mm -hmm. flourish and really connecting it in with the rest of the community, like the like you said, the trails and so forth. I mean, we're getting healthier in the process. Sure. Uh, and just those connections to the whole community, it's really fabulous. And, and, and they've done a great <laughs> job. And First Friday is a great way to actually connect people who don't normally come to Kokomo to right. see, oh, wow, what else do you guys have? which is the gateway that leads to other businesses all over this community. Right, absolutely. And just speaking of First Friday, we are we do have a website. Mm -hmm. uh, it's firstfridaycokomo.com. And uh, people can go on there, see what's happening uh, for this First Friday. Uh, we just launched it, so we're still working on a sure. few aspects of it. But uh, we think it's going to be a real resource, not only for the businesses to sign up and the artists, because we're really connecting the art world with the business world. Sure. So, for example, if you have a professional services business and you want to entertain your client base and say, come down for yep. an open house, you, you might invite an artist from Artworks to come and display their work and also maybe do a demonstration, mm -hmm. which is something you just don't get everywhere. Sure. Um, and, and really, that's the value of downtown. You know, these are niche um, businesses. These are, this is a destination. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't find these creative people just everywhere. Right. So. And we're going to take a quick break with more exciting stuff from Susan right after this. Best cars, best deals. Right now is the time to get a great deal on a Toyota during the number one for everyone sales event. Going on now, only at Kokomo Auto World. It's a world of autos. Check out our selection of new Toyota vehicles. Toyota, let's go places. And now get leases from $139 a month. $139 a month during the number one for everyone sales event at Kokomo Auto World, west of US 31 on South La Fountain or KokomoAutoWorld.com. Going on now, only at Kokomo Auto World. It's a world of autos. Get great savings and the quality you trust when you buy a new Ford vehicle. Ford, go further. And right now, 
get cash back up to $2,500. Hurry, Markdown Madness ends Monday at Kokomo Auto World. West of Since 1948, Haynes Community Federal Credit Union has been here to lend money and serve the folks of our community. If you need a loan, a shopper loan to get ready for the holidays and help old Santa out, a home equity loan for large purchases, or if you need to refinance your mortgage or get a new mortgage loan, stop into Haynes Community Federal Credit Union, 1801 South Park Road in Kokomo. And let's see how we can help you. Check us out on the web at HanesFCU.org. Member NCUA. At Indiana University Kokomo, get a world-class IU degree. With the best degree programs, the best campus life, and the best value. It's a private school feel at a public school cost. And we're starting new traditions. This is IU Kokomo. And this, 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 this is, is my, my campus. campus. We are back, and there's so many people that we need to thank and mention, but first and foremost, the website. I mean, he... Right, absolutely. Ryan Minnick uh, with Leader One Financial, yep. the two mortgage guys, he has uh, spent countless hours creating that website for us, and uh, we've had a nice group of folks. Um, they've been all different people from downtown giving input on yep. it and really making it... This is a collaboration. It's not one group doing sure. it, but, but i got to point out Ryan's work because he's really done a fabulous job on our website right. so and he's taken a lot of input and kind yes. of pushed forward and, and we've had some fun job. meetings yes, haven't we, we have you know what they really <laughs> yeah. are a lot of fun i have to say they're quite entertaining yeah. I, i've kind of taken people down a side street once or sure. twice and That's, led people the wrong way it's all part they're of like, it they're like chad we need to center focus yeah um and i also want to mention steve over there too because absolutely steve is amazing oh, he's uh, he steve delon he's fabulous he yes. helped us buy our first house and yeah and any opportunity i can i always say <laughs> thank you steve so absolutely. they're great guys and they're truly another asset to downtown absolutely absolutely exactly they wanted to be a part of this um this enthusiasm right. and this momentum that we're building in downtown so yeah because years and years ago Steve actually started here right over at the bank I didn't know that yeah. oh yes I do remember that yeah. actually N yes NBD I think was the actual name of it was something else before that but I think yeah. it was NBD when we yeah so he's kind of gone full, full circle absolutely and absolutely. there's all kinds of exciting businesses yeah. going on and well and I do want to say too you know that's the strength those guys have a certain network of mm -hmm. folks that they work with and 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 they are a part of they're gonna invite all those folks right. Their neighbor, uh, Bohemian Tattoo uh, Club and Art Gallery, they're going to invite their people. That's the strength of this mm -hmm. because it, as each venue invites their folks, and then everybody just tours everything. Right. So, so it's really phenomenal. I think it's just going to grow. Uh, this is the first time we've been talking about it right. publicly. So uh, we've had a, a good turnout even sure. before this. So we're, we're excited to see. And, and yeah. you really do a good job of organizing it and bringing those people together because, I mean, you give them the place, you give them the avenue. Sure. So, sure. I mean, you kind of throw it back in your court a little bit too because you have to have organization and you have to bring those people right. together right. and that's what it's all about and you're going to see this is what's so exciting for me you're going to see so many partnerships that you wouldn't think possible before sure and and it really is bringing business not only to downtown i know we're sure. focusing on that but it's it's truly for the benefit of Howard County. Absolutely. I mean, downtown is the most widely held representation of your entire community. Mm -hmm. So it's got to look good. It's got to be thriving and vital uh, for your community. And, you know, the downtown association uh, following the Main Street principles are doing, that's what they do. We collaborate. Sure. We, we bring people into, we solve problems. We uh, build consensus. You know, that's really the beauty. It's a community event. I mean, sure. it's a community organization and we just bring people to the table so that was well spoken for sure <laughs> and if you have questions or if you want to know more about it how it's right. that website right yeah definitely try the website but also you're welcome to call the downtown association 457-5301 mm -hmm. you'll get you'll talk to me um, and otherwise the website which will point you in the right direction right. it's first Fridays from 6 to 9 every first Friday all year round so we invite you out definitely come yeah. take a look at what it is you're going to get excited about it because honestly I'm excited about it. There's right. so many things going on, so many partnerships going on, and there's so many things that are in the works that you're going to see upcoming. 
So definitely check it out. And Susan's going to be back because I'm going to drag her in kicking <laughs> and screaming because there's so much more. I'm really, really excited about this, guys. You don't want to miss it. But next, we've got Mr. Drew Larison. He is going to talk about all kinds of stuff. Fantastic. Thanks, Chad. We'll be right Jen. back.